Hey, welcome back. What's up, guys? Ice time here. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video today. Uh, another user requested. We did a clone on touch video a little while back, and they want to know how to do a destroy on touch. Uh, so we're just gonna do that real quick here. So we're gonna need a part that we touch. Let's pull that out here. Clone that and move it over here. Make it this big wall. And we'll just call it wall. Alright, now we just need to script it. So let's add a new server script. Again, this script could be in the part you're touching as well, but I'm gonna put it in server script service here. Declare our variables first. Local touch part equals workspace dot touch. Local delete part equals space dot wall. Let's do our function. Local function destroy. So, all we have to really do for this is... We'll do an if statement so that it looks to see if the part you want to destroy is in the world or not. So, if workspace dot wall, then oh, I'm sorry. Let's do it this way. We declared it in a variable already, right? If delete part, then delete part colon destroy. Else return. Alright, now we just need to set a trigger for it, and then we'll test. And this is just going to be touch part dot touched connect, and we called our function destroy. Let's give it a test. This is not the clone on touch video. I'm just in the uh, same spot. All right, now, boom, there it goes. And just like that, guys, it's that simple. So if you had the clone on touch script already, you can just add these additional variables in, add another function in and another triggering event, or you can do it in a separate script. However, uh, you want to do it for your project. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, please hit that subscribe button and like this video. I appreciate all the support. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll catch you next time.